Hey VC, I'm back with another big edition of The Mail. I uh, haven't made one of these in a long time because I just haven't had the time. Uh, but back today with all the stuff that I have bought over the last month or so. So there's quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get right into it. First item, paid like six bucks for this. It's Gary Moore Tour Program from the Wild Frontier Tour. Um, it's really nice. Got a bunch of cool pictures of Gary in it. Just a little cool item to add to my collection. Especially for the price. So yeah, that's that. And then on to a couple of cassettes. The first one is Jeff Finholt, Hymns 1. I was very happy to find the copy of this for $3. Uh, because I've seen a copy of this on CD pop up on eBay. And the seller wanted like 30 bucks, which is way too much for a CD. Uh, but for 3 bucks, I'll definitely buy it. This is him doing some old hymns like Amazing Grace, How Great Thou Art, He Touched Me. But he does great versions of them. And then I found a copy of Jeff Finholt Live. This has an alternate cover. The original cover has the same picture that's on here um, where he's standing right there. Uh, and the cool thing about this is this one is actually autographed by Jeff. So very happy to add that to my collection. If you haven't, told, uh, haven't been able to tell already, I'm a huge Jeff Finholt fan. I just love his voice, love his music. Uh, so yeah. And then the next item I found was absolutely blew me away. Uh, it's Jeff Finholt's book from Darkness to Light and the seller listed this for a dollar with a couple bucks shipping and it is actually autographed by Jeff right on the front page so definitely happy to add that to my collection. Then on to some other stuff. First item is a little three inch CD single, Dock and Walk Away, uh, backed with Unchain the Night, uh, the live version from Beast from the East. Never really seen one of these mini CDs before, but it's pretty cool. Very happy to add that to my docking collection for a couple bucks. And on to a little lot I bought for $7 shipped, which was a great price. Uh, it's Sabotage, Power of the Night, reissued version of that album with some bonus tracks. This is a great album. If you've never heard this, definitely check it out. Sabotage is just a rocking band. And then the album Streets, a rock opera. Hadn't heard this before I got it, but I did after I got it, and it is a great album. Also, a reissued version with some bonus tracks. And then their album Poets and Mad Men from 2001. It's a great album, even though it doesn't have Chris Oliva because he passed away uh, shortly before this. Uh, but still without him, it is a fantastic album. All Sabotage Rocks even though he was a key part of the band. Uh, and this next item paid $4 for this, which was a great price. The only other copies I've seen on eBay and Discogs have sold for over 30 bucks. Uh, it's one of these mini LP version CDs of Gary Moore's Still Got the Blues with the Obi strip. And basically what they do here is they just recreate the original LP and they did a great job of that. I don't know why anybody would pay 30 bucks for one of these for a CD, but still a cool item got a little insert with lyrics on it and other pictures of his albums uh, and it has this little inner sleeve type thing that the CD comes in so they really made these look like a actual record and there's the CD itself uh, so for what I paid for this definitely happy to add this to my Gary Moore collection and then on to a couple records uh, this first one is for my Dawkins collection even though it isn't a Dawkins album it is Shire their self-titled album I believe their only album they did just some 80s hair metal, hard rock type stuff. Uh, it's not great, but just for what it is, it's pretty cool. Uh, the reason I bought this is because this band was actually produced by Don Dokken. Uh, and this has the original insert with it, with the logo and lyrics on the back. And this is on the Enigma label. Paid like five bucks for this, so definitely jumped on that deal. Then I found a copy of this album that I've wanted for a while. Probably my favorite Black Sabbath album, even though it's considered a Tony Iommi solo album. I consider it a Black Sabbath album. Uh, Seventh Star with uh, Glenn Hughes on vocals. Uh, I just love this album. It's got great artwork. I'd love to have a poster of that. On the Warner Brothers label. So got that for like eight bucks, which was a pretty good deal for it. And then I finally, finally bought a copy of this album. Some of y'all are probably going to be shocked that I didn't have this already. But the reason I would waited so long is because I wanted to find a copy that didn't have a bunch of ring wear like you usually find it with. 
uh, and that album is Ozzy Osbourne's Blizzard of Oz. Uh, this came with the original shrink on it, but it was all dirty, but I ripped that off, and the cover underneath is in really nice shape. I mean, it's still got a little corner wear and stuff, a little bit of ring wear on the back and stuff, but other than that, it's in great shape. Got the original inner sleeve with the lyrics and the logo, and this is on the Jet record label, and the album itself is in beautiful shape. Plays great. Sounds great. And the last album, another one that I've waited for a decent copy of, because you usually find this with a bunch of ring wear. Uh, this one isn't perfect, but for what I paid for it, the $8 I paid, it's pretty rare. Uh, it's the promo copy of Montrose's self-titled debut album. Fantastic album. Very happy to add this to my collection finally. And this is a white label, which makes it even cooler. And the record itself is in great shape. Plays great. Sounds great. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Those are my recent additions to my collection, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.